Well, today's the day. The 4420 has found a new home. Gonna miss this guy. Bought it a couple years ago. Added the floaters. Did a bunch of hydraulic work to it. One last walk around. Uh, guy's supposed to be here a half hour or so to throw her on the semi. So, got the ladder off for him and all ready to go. Ended up buying a 6620 to replace it. Um, looking forward to running that. Or actually have ran it in beans. And it's definitely going to replace it quite well. Uh, getting rid of this machine because it just you can't buy a whole lot of parts for it and there it's getting wore out enough that it's just time for her to move on so hopefully hopefully this 66 corner that we bought hopefully it serves its purpose and it's got a lot of brand new parts on it and so one last walk around around it. And one thing about it, she's got a sweet stance. So, <clears throat> hopefully, we can get her loaded up and strapped down. Hopefully, it's not too sad to see her go. Guess it's going to Pennsylvania to run run beans and corn, from what I'm told. So, yes, we can walk over and give you a tour of the, the new machine. Um, I guess I got lucky enough that instead of just selling uh, the the machine and having to find you know using my old heads that actually were selling the existing heads with the combine and i got a new set of heads with the new combine so here's the 6620 needs a bath i think she'll polish up real nice like i said i've already used it in beans very 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 happy with the performance that it had um, it's got right around 5,000 hours, which is quite a bit of hours for a combine, but it's a well kept. I think the only real thing it really, that I want to do to it is I, I want to put some rasp bars in it and I would like to, uh, I would like to put a whole cabin tier in it. It's, it's not horrible shape, but it definitely needs some work, but got a little dusty from running running my beans don't know if you can tell anything but i need to put do a little work on the seat back and i need to get the air conditioner running but man these cabs are a lot more roomy but it's missing like the back liner and that thing and it's missing missing this stuff down here i think that'll quiet it up quite a bit but She's a runner. I mean, she will fire up. She'll fire right up. All the time. Just turn that key and she's a run. And the thing I like about these is you've got a digital display where it tells you your ground speed, and your engine speed, and uh, your fan and all that stuff. The cylinder is the only thing analog. Got that annoying heart break sound or buzzer, but it sure helps. All the warnings down here seem to work fine. Lights even work. Way brighter than the 4440. Or 4420. It's even got the built-in air conditioner up there, but we bought it. The only thing that does not work is the air conditioner. That I'm aware of. That auger right there, definitely looking forward to that. And corn, don't have to swing it in and out. But there she is. It's a horse. 
takes up a lot of room. I, I really wanted to keep the 4420, but the thing about that is it just takes up too much room and I had to pay for this somehow. So, but I'm going to try to put together a video of how to change it over from one crop to another. I just, I've been so slammed and running the grain cart and combine for the neighbors that I haven't had time to sit down and go over this thing with you guys. Um, it's, it's definitely, definitely a neat beast. But I hope to put, like I said, put together a video of it changing crops and that way we can get more familiarized with it myself. And it's got this neat little uh, chaff spreader, which I'm really liking that in the soybeans. Chalk dropper on it. It is not four wheel drive. It's kind of deceiving, but basically I got a couple fuel issues i gotta take care of or some floaties or something in the tank it was acting up but yeah there she is so like i said it's a sad day to see the the 4420 leave but it's also a very happy day to have a combine that actually has some <laughs> get up and go to it so So, one last look at her. Might even get a video of it leaving on the trailer if I think to pull my phone out. So, all right. Well, I guess we can go down and take a tour of the heads we got too. So, I'll be right back with you guys. So, here is the grain head and corn head that leaves today. Beautiful 213. I really hate to sell it, but it is not near enough head for the 6620. The only thing is that that's a little crooked and it's got a steel floor. Other than that, this is an immaculate condition head. Uh, 444 corn head. She's pretty well wore out, which I told the guy, so honest as I could be with him, but but I am going to miss this 213 grain head. It is, it is one pretty one. It's a later style, judging by the serial tag. It's got that tag on it. But, but with the 6620, I got a low 10 444, which is actually up at the shed and sitting outside. I'm trying to get it ready to get running. And then I also got this T16, which it's not a cream puff by no means, but it did a fine job running beans. So I'm just going to keep on a running it until I'd like to get into a 900 series. But it's, an, it's an earlier one. Um, I honestly think I wish I could use my uh, 220 that I have. So... So there it is. It's got all good sections on it. Uh, it's got the stainless floor. The only thing, eh, they kind of rigged that plug up. But. So yeah, there we have it. That's definitely a lot worse shape than that. Now that is nowhere near big enough to run, so. But, I guess why we're out here. A new another new addition to the herd, which stumbled across me. Didn't need it at all. Um, was this 227 corn picker, which uh, the morons that dug it out of the barn, they sure beat it up pretty hard, and I didn't get to it while it was still in the barn. I'm pretty disappointed about that, but. Um, I think it's a later style because of the mounting brackets it has. It doesn't lift with the rock shaft. It actually lifts like a 237 would. Um, yeah, that one's laying on its side. We got to get it up. But hopefully, hopefully this little bugger, we can get kind of a dense bang back out of it. And we mangled that and that. Hopefully we can get this back on a tractor and pick some corn because it's way nicer shape, way, way nicer shape than what my 
237 is. Actually, I think this is almost a 237. I get, I don't know. It, it definitely don't look like the 227 that I've seen before, so. Don't have a tractor yet to put it on, that I want to put it on, but we'll get there. So, and I actually mainly purchased it, there's 4040, mainly purchased it because it had a drawbar with it and the carriage seemed fairly nice and the elevator is just really nice shape and it's got a factory extension which um, you see them but you don't, so. But there's the elevator for it. Original paint. And there's that factory extension. I'm really looking forward to that factory extension. So hopefully get her inside here and um, that way we can preserve it, I guess, as we would say. So but I think this will bolt right up to my 237. And then over here is the rest of the mounting hardware and the drives so, and the draw bar. Um, didn't get it for free, but I definitely paid paid it up a fair enough price that I'm not going to get hurt on it. So, so there we have it. Um, I guess we'll uh, make a video here. That way... Uh, waiting on this guy to get here to pick the combine up so um, i guess fish your first time watching uh i know this one's a little boring but just trying to kill some time and be sure to like and subscribe so there's a nice uh opposite view of the sunrise but a pretty sky for the morning so have a nice day